Dancing the Hall original show that uh, I myself wrote and myself and Dan directed, who's up there on the god mic, he's going to be our dungeon master for this evening. So, <laughs> exactly. so he's going to make sure that everything goes off without a hitch. We've got half our cast over on this side. They are our wary adventurers. They have no idea what's going on. I have told them almost nothing. Okay? We have our other half of our group are the NPCs over on this side. They are going to be all of the environment. They're going to be the monsters. They're going to be the people they interact with. The story that is told is going to be through me and them on this side. Um, Dungeons and Dragons is what got me started in improv originally. Um, I started doing a little bit of Dungeons and Dragons with friends of mine way back before the pandemic. It was a lot of fun. And then my friend was like, you should take improv classes and you can work on characters and stuff like that. And I've been here ever since because it's been so much fun. And so Dungeons and Dragons is really special to me. This cast is very special. And hopefully, so is the show. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. But before we get started, I need two suggestions. So I need to know what is a good place to visit when you're new in town. Anybody have somewhere that they'd like to go when they're in a new town? Somewhere they'd like to go check out? Coffee shop. A coffee shop. OK, we got a coffee shop. Coffee shop for two. And then our next suggestion is what's a great place, maybe unconventional, but secluded place to have a first date? Putt putt. Putt putt. Excellent. We've got putt putt and coffee shop. Thank you so much. Welcome to Dungeons and Improvisations. We come to Planet Ant for magic. We come to this place to put on a totally different improv comedy show every Thursday night at Planet Ant. The Ants in the Hall create a truly brand new show each week. New theme, new characters, new everything. The Ants create a new show in 48 hours between Tuesday and Thursday. Some of our past shows include wrestling, a rom-com, Italian soap opera, and dating game. Somehow, heartbreak and silliness feels good in a place like this. Partly scripted, mostly improvised, always different. Ants in the Hall, we make improv comedy better. A group of misfits find their way here where they meet the barkeep and his young daughter Lilith trying to make ends meet. I just bought this. 
this uh, summoning spell from an old man down the road, so here we go. Oh my god! Uh -oh. Uckle man! Uckle man, come to me now! Uckle man, check me with your cheese! Fill my holes up with cheese! I've got my... Yes. 
so many like amazing adventures. I do. Yes. Yes. No. No. It's just. I mean, I think. I think. Then maybe we should get to know each other a little bit, a little bit better, you know, in our like private scenario. If you if you do. Could you get my daughter's hands off of me? Uh, yeah. How about you go with your father? No. Go with your father. Go with your father. Darling. <laughs> and, oh, hello. We could have a, a, a drink. Uh, sure. Sure. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Would you like a drink, too? I bet yes. you exactly want. Thank you so much. Like, oh, I appreciate when it. When should I could use some more meat as well? No, cut him off. No, he does not have a tab. I'm sure he doesn't because of the Wait, my friend said that they would take care of me. <laughs> you can have some seats if you like. We, we don't need to just yell at each other. You know how hard it is to sit in chain mail? I really don't. I can't afford it. I'm not barkeep, etc. So basically, you're going to follow this jackass around. Just waiting until you get paid it back. One second. I, I'm a little light right now, I, uh, it don't look like it, and, and but once I get my horse back, I will win a jousting tournament, and I will get you all of the money, and pay a buy around for everybody if you take care of me now, of course. Sir John, step into the spotlight, and reveal the innermost secrets of your mind and a, and a random memory. <laughs> I remember the first time that I laid eyes on Guinevere. I was working in the stables. I heard the most peculiar, sexy sound coming. I felt a shiver up my spine, and I uh, stripped down right there and just laid naked in the hay, masturbating. Then I, that's when I saw this beautiful beast with its beautiful flowing mane. And I right then and there just jumped naked on the back, slapped its ass, and we rode to the countryside and made love at the bank of a river. After getting settled with their drinks and reeling in disgust from Sir John's story, a blacksmith and a farmer enter, arguing over a little dispute that they seem to have. <laughs> You shut your mouth, Tim the Tool Man, stealing tailor. My name is not Tim the Tool Man. I am Farmer Ben Stiller. More like Farmer Ben stealing these tools. You want me to buy for the <laughs> tools? I'm blacksmith for you. Don't call me that. I pay for those tools. I told you. Oh, I can't. Oh, you did? Okay. Let me just check a few places here. Nope. Okay. Nope. <laughs> no money. Check your back pockets. Yeah, wait. Okay. There. Nothing! All Shit! Right. So let's do this out! And I have an accent! You don't, so I don't think it'll go in your favor! Mommy, why don't you protect us? So send and do something about this! Your invention! Oh no, by the staff of the tavern, the party decides to fight the blacksmith and the farmer! Hey, I'll kick that farmer's ass right now! <laughs> Party. The first attack is from the blacksmith to Ami. Hold on, we're rolling. I, there's nothing to show you that we're rolling, so you can hear it. 18 is a very successful attack. The blacksmith swings at Ami and makes her drop her sword. Suddenly, Sir John intervenes. What attack are you going to do, Sir John? I'm going to throw my knee goblet at the blacksmith. Sir John, throw, rolls to throw his knee. He gets a seven. It does not. It totally misses. Oh, no! <laughs> Little Millie, what attack will you do? I will also throw my knee goblet at the farmer. All right, rolling for that now. Eleven, it lands, but he's okay. And in retaliation, the farmer attacks with a large punch to Millie. 
Oh, it's five. The farmer accidentally punches himself. But he's really okay, so he gets his hat and stands back up. And now it's time for Mr. Gordito. What action do you choose? Uh, I am going to try to squeeze the blacksmith inside of my taco. Uh, three seconds. How disgusting. Let's roll. 17. It's incredibly successful. The blacksmith drops his axe. Yeah! Uh, what do you do in a joint combination attack? Yeah, we're gonna throw a rainbow! They're gonna throw a rainbow! It's a seven! It's, it's, it's one color! <laughs> and the blacksmith retaliates uh, with a big song about, uh, you know, uh, about Republican beliefs. <laughs> it's a nine. No one's party alignment is sway, but everyone's ears hurt a little. Uh, you know, I really think that maybe Trump does deserve to go to jail, but he had some good points. Hey, uh, <laughs> the former acts in retaliation as well. He's gonna drop kick everybody. <laughs> it's a ten. He does actually get the drop kick off on every single person in the tavern. <laughs> to be crossing your mind right now, and an old memory. <laughs> I try to act like a macho, macho taco man, but I have a deep, dark secret. The cheese inside me, it's not a Mexican blend. It's cheddar. <laughs> what out of the way is white man cheese is that for? <laughs> How strange, that's enough of that. <laughs> 
happiness. Which what can the father do you have any bread for your meat can I give you? Keeper and Lilith shoved them all out the door so that they could clean up the corpses. Oh, we got oh, a lot to do here. Oh, if you don't please. mind, take the hint and get a coffee. Oh, 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 we have to go this way. Get the latte. Eat. Fuck this place. Lilith was the girl who worked at the 
<laughs> if I did, we'd all be his people, so we just all respect each other. That's great. That's great. <laughs> So, like, what's her favorite kind of car? Okay, um, I don't think we should say anything about her. Daughter. We're not real cool. Don't see. I feel like it is bad. Shoe no. size. No. Uh, Gold or silver about, jewelry. You want to know about cats? Yeah. Oh, cats. So so you see a horse, a beautiful horse with a pumpkin ass. Okay, this is getting real weird. I thought it's not good when no. it's happening to this moment. I don't like this at all. And honestly, I, could, I was not really interested in this. I'll just be frank. List, I could. I could
Oh, nice. Yes. Okay, we'll keep that for whatever you need it for. Sure, thank you. I am just going to keep these keys. I yeah. give them two weeks. I don't see this going anywhere. Oh, oh that's We're nice. supposed to be quiet. You know, if We're the I, bushes. I was no, supposed no, to be on a date with the Prince of Darkness. I would be taking out Ami. That's all. Oh, uh, and show me how to how to get behind her. Sure, I do it. Do it. Okay, <laughs> she's just like a stupid girl. <laughs> what are dogs? They are. <laughs> Step into the spotlight. Reveal your immediate, most sensual thoughts. I like myself. <laughs> also, uh, swords, love it. Metal, love it. Heavy yeah, metal. Uh, but also, <laughs> ladies, men, y'all are in trouble. And <laughs> <Damn>, bitches. <laughs> but also, I love to pick locks. Oh, bitch. A nice little lock or a puzzle. Ooh, I'm all up in that. Oh, shit, yeah. Not particularly helpful. <laughs> <laughs> so I should tell you my chastity belt has a couple other locks on it. Oh? Um, that you might have to Ooh. I don't have a chastity belt on me. Oh. Ask That's her more about why she, the darkness is bad. Uh, why is the darkness bad? Uh, uh, darkness is, darkness is fine. I'm sorry. It's yeah, they're just, you know, some nights that are like a little bit more stressful than other nights. Ask her if they're the full moon nights. Uh, so, uh, is it, uh, to do with the moon, possibly? <laughs> you know, women, moon, sometimes we like have issues around the moon. Very good to know. Ask her if she gets real hairy. <sighs> I need to know. As a preference. Okay. How hairy do you get? Um. As, as hairy as you want me to be. <laughs> great. That's her, not an answer! That's a great <laughs> answer. Ask her how long that chastity belt's been locked, because it might be real hairy under there. Ignoring the strange commentary from the onlookers, Lilith seems to have certain premonitions of a horrible event. I, I feel like, like something bad's gonna happen, Ami. I'm really worried. No? Yeah. Like, like what? I don't know. I just I feel like things have been a little weird from the town lately. <laughs> 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 It's an, uh, it's a, well, I don't even know what that, it's a pumpkin, ah! Oh, Lilith, please, and terror, and the party comes to join for a combat sequence! Oh, you oh, get, gets off of the stage, he gets down. Get, get down, move lower, move down stage, and receive a minus three penalty to your next roll or whatever. Uh, the pumpkin monster does a crazy dance, which entices the party. It's a ten. Everybody starts doing a slight jig. Gordito, proclaim your combat action. I am going to. Deep into the salsa pocket. Ah, it's extra spicy salsa. I'm gonna put some in his eyes. You roll one. It's a critical failure. You put salsa in your own eyes, and you are debilitated for the entire combat sequence. Ah! And yeah, describe your combat action. It's a two! Pretty close to critical failure, so you just kind of are in cat mode and you are distracted now. <laughs> Pumpkin creature uh, decides to do a, a vine slap by summoning things from the earth. And it's a 12, everyone gets slapped in the face! Oh, 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 Sir John is 
Turn your combat action! I'm going to lay a haymaker on this son of a bitch! It's a six! You lay a haymaker on yourself! Oh, oh, I'm gonna stop doing that! Sir Ali, what do you do? Tries to stop this bitch, it's a nine! It, it pokes it slightly. <laughs> Great! Meow death! Uh, what do you do? I wanna throw all my rainbows at him! You, you got a you got a six? It's a, oh. There's a little dot on it, so I, I I don't know which one that is. Uh you throw again one color, it's blue! The pumpkin creature does not like blue, it's a little off-put and terrified! Billy the Little Devil, what do you do? I'm gonna use my horns to run at it really fast. It's a one critical failure. You try to run and fall flat on your butt. Oh my god! <laughs> Pumpkin creature decides to do a big roundhouse kick. It's a seven. Only Sir John sustains damage. Oh! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and the uh, has a cat. What do you do? I'm gonna turn back to my human and try to punch in the face. 16! It's incredibly successful! There we go. Oh! One last desperation attack from the pumpkin monster. It tries to do the monster mash! 18! Everyone has to do the monster mash, including Gordito! <laughs> There's only one last chance to escape its trance! Sir Ami, what do you do? Uh, I, I... I just... I rub it, like... I'm the serial Pokemon, so you stop that! Weird choice not to use your sword! It's a nine! It still works! We'll leave one more attack to finish it off. It's up to you, Meowdith. I'm a bitch slapping. 18, what an incredible bitch slap. Yeah. Oh. The Zed's combat. Curious about the call for help, obviously the party goes to assist. I guess we should go now. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I've already got a miss my date. You, your date ended a while ago. Not in my heart! After a suspicious looking ranger arrives on the scene behind them, stealing a pocket, a thing full of coins. Uh, the party arrives at the farm where they're here met with a distressing tale.
about to kill our prized horse. <gasps> was it a horse? It was a giant! Oh, it was a beauty. Oh, it was our prized horse. Stop talking! Black hair. Yes! Ass like a pumpkin. Oh, yes! Yeah. Yeah. Responded to Guinevere. <laughs> yes! Where? Is it this Guinevere or not? No! Ah! I want to punch him! Well, you got to Roll it! Roll the punch! Oh. He's just the Rolling punch. punch! 13 is a pretty hard punch! Oh. It wasn't his fault! I don't care! I need to take it out of somebody! Oh. 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 Oh.
after revealing that she had successfully fingered Lilith for her silver keys. The party then decides to give chase to the werewolf who has to eat the, 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 the horse with the pumpkin ass. After several days of running, at, of running at full sprint, the party arrives at a location that looks suspiciously familiar to the place that they've been the entire time. But it's here that they encounter a very strange figure, a werewolf? Or something even more strange. She tries to tickle the werewolf. 
It's a two! She tickles herself! And yeah, what do you do? Uh, you know what seems like a really fun idea, but I didn't have one. Yeah, try, 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 try. What? what? I want to tickle the other one! Oh, tickles the other one! Yeah. It's a 13, it's a successful tickle! <laughs> it's really getting them! See, it's really getting tickled! Oh, damn! Meowlith, what do you do? Tries to take the hat. What Can't take the hat, but it hurts him real bad. Oh, it's glued to my hair. <laughs> Werewolf strikes with another large round of scratches. Ah. It's a two. The werewolf scratches the other creature. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Cordino, what do you do? I am going to scoop a big wad of Taco meat. Let me stop you there. It's a crit it's a two cri almost critical failure. Your hand is stuck inside of your taco meat. Little <laughs> <laughs> Billy Devil, what do you do? I'm gonna howl really loud at both of them so they go death. Nineteen, super successful. <laughs> While they're both initially stunned, the creature goes down to his knees, but the other werewolf is totally cool. <laughs> One final act of desperation, the werewolf goes to slash every single party member's throat. And it's a three, everyone gets tickled in the throat. <laughs> so, Ami, the rest is up to you. What do you do? and the other creature with the hat are stunned entirely. The werewolf seems to be hurt, but is otherwise okay. End of combat sequence. <laughs> Suddenly, the werewolf takes a slunge at Sir Ami for her brave actions. Yeah. You 
look like an older, uglier <laughs> fart boy. Yeah, oh, she got that. That's right. I found this. What's right that? where you killed that pumpkin. <gasps> That's right. That doppelganger paid that pumpkin a cent to ruin that date. But I don't know why. That's what I want to know. Why were you trying to sabotage that date between these fine two young eyes? No, no, man. We Cause I love you, <laughs> and I just okay. Oh, and I just thought that if I got to know you, not into your life. That's not. Dad, what I mean. this was like. I, okay. I would have well, seen her as her dad to get to know her sexually. Oh my god! Yeah. No, yeah, this is the number one thing everybody knows. Okay, I hear it now. Yeah. Oh god! Oh, oh, god. Who are you really, and what's your relation to Lila? I'm really just. Man, a uh, creature as it were, destroyed it to love a lovely woman. And what happened to her real father? Yeah. Was that? Yeah. Was he, the father the horse? <laughs> <laughs> he went for some smoke soon, though. Oh, killed my dad! Did you, you wanted to sleep with me? Oh, man, not cool, dude. Come on. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 The horse He's option would have been less disturbing.
case, there's a lot going on in this building. There's not just what you saw here in the ghost light. We've got karaoke by our one and only Scott. We've got the uh, Ant Jam happening in the Independence. So if you want to do some short form improv games, feel free to jump on in and have some fun. Try it out yourself. You never know. Maybe you'll end up here one day, you know? And the Planet Ant Theater is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Please, if you can and if you're inclined, donate. That's what makes everything up here possible. And thank you again for coming out. This is Anson Hall. Thank you. Guys.